Okay, okay, we're live. Namaste, everyone. You know who I am. <laughs> I'm Greg Prescott from in5d.com and buddymindsoulspirit.com. And I'm so glad that everybody could join me right now. Robin, Wendy, Nancy, Lisa, Mary, and oh God, there's a bunch of people. <laughs> Namaste and welcome everyone. And this is just going to be a short one. You know, there's nothing major going on except for a huge wave. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but man, well, I took today was only a two hour nap, but yesterday and the day before I took two, I took a four hour nap each day. So are you guys feeling that? Are you guys feeling? I know some people are feeling the exact opposite. Not many, but a few are feeling, you know, wired and energized. Not me, man. When this wave has gone through and it was most noticeable two days ago and yesterday and still noticeable today. But man, whew, it just you feel this like it's almost like this warm wave of the energy and as it's coming over you. It just like shut your eyes <laughs> and, and you take a nap. So are you guys feeling that? Have you guys felt that? Have you felt like, man, I'm really tired. Even if you're at work, you know, you, you still have to work through it. Are you feeling that? I sure as heck am. And I'm not alone. I know a lot of other people are. So let me see, is my microphone working? <laughs> Hopefully my mic's on and not muted. So um, just want to cover real quickly this whole Facebook shadow banning. Who else is going through this? It's it's pretty drastic with what they're doing to me on, uh, you know, especially with in 5D. I have um, over 400,000 followers on in 5D. And I was just looking at the last post I posted. And out of the 400,000 followers, over 400,000 followers that I have, that post reached 1,081 of them. So do you think there's a little shadow banning going on? Yeah. And I know you guys are going through the same thing. You know, when you put that those, those posts and articles out there to help awaken other people, they're just disappearing into the void and that's what happens. I don't know if you guys notice that sometimes when you post an article on your page, you don't even see it yourself. You have to re-click your name or refresh the page just to see the post. And other times it pops up. So it's obvious um, that we're all getting shadow banned. And of course, if we were putting out a message that the controllers liked, it would go viral, <laughs> but apparently we're doing something right. If they're trying to ban what we're saying. So, um, I want to thank everybody too, that has joined the in 5d Patreon group. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Like I said, I'll be raffling off this titanium e force pendant on there. And, um, That'll be July 7th, 7-7, seven, seven. Um, that I'll be raffling that off. So someone's going to be, be uh, the, the lucky recipient of this beautiful titanium necklace that I'm supposed to be giving away to someone. So um, what else? What's going on with you guys? <laughs> I, I see a lot of people have just joined. You missed my whole little spiel on shadow banning and... Uh, the energies that are going on right now. Gosh, I'm sweating like very profusely. Yes, I'm still drinking this water. I love it. And no, <laughs> I'm not a sponsor of them. I don't get paid to <laughs> promote these guys, but this 10 alkaline pH water is amazing. I recommend it. <sighs> Yummy. So, um, yeah, so I was talking about the energies um, of what's going on, and um, there is a huge wave that has been going through uh, that has been literally taking a lot of people into sleepy land, 
And, uh, you know, of course, you know, a lot of us have these uh, amazing dreams. Once you, you work on your yourself and, and, and do all your inner work, the only thing that's left when you dream are these dreams of things that haven't happened yet or, uh, you know, premonitions and stuff like that. So that's why it's really important to do your work uh, to get, and all the shadow work that goes along to it. There's a lot of people that are with these energies. It's bringing out a lot of the shadow work that we all inevitably have to do. So make sure that you get all that done. And once, once you have gotten to that point, all your dreams will become really, really <laughs> amazing. Um, very futuristic, very premonistic. Um, so uh, it's really important that you do do all that shadow work. And like I said, right now, these energies are bringing that up and a lot of people, um, and you'll see a lot of people going through these different, it's almost like bipolar mood swings, you know, where they feel great one minute and then, uh, but it's a blessing too. So when you're going through that, understand that, you know, this is something that's going to help your spiritual progression. And there's a reason why these things are being brought up for you. So just go with the flow, write it out. And I can't emphasize enough the importance of grounding. And one thing I found really cool was um, Alison Cole's latest video. And you can find it on YouTube, on her YouTube channel. But she was talking about these two people, uh, two of her clients, different areas of the country. Live, they live hundreds of miles away from each other. They basically had the same visions of 5D Earth. And both of them involved living basically in treetops um, with communities, I guess, basically of soul family. And I thought that was really cool. But she said, she mentioned when, when you're grounding, not just grounding to Mother Earth, but ground at least 25% of yourself into that 5D, that, that new Earth, whatever you want to call it or envision it, it try to ground at least 25% of yourself there. Because as we know, and it's been proven in, in the metaphysical field that thoughts and, and intentions create reality. So the more we put that out there, the more it becomes real. Um, these are some of the things I'm putting out there for myself. And just like my walk of gratitude, take what you want, make it yours. You know, I'm just sharing this with you. And if you like it, use it too. One of the things I, I, I envision for 5D Earth is, you know, for me, it's going to be a very tropical setting. It, it's going to be similar to exactly where I live uh, here in Siesta Key in, in, in Florida. But the water is going to be interactive. So you would walk in the water and say, like for me, the ideal temperature, water temperature, 83 degrees. It's perfect. Okay, so I walk in the water and it's 83 degrees. It adjusts to each person. So say, let's say you like it cooler. You like it at 75. We could be standing right next to each other. The water to me is 83. To you, it's 75. I could envision if, if you like the water calm, your water would be perfectly calm. But if I wanted waves, just the waves would come in front of me and they'd be as high or as low as I want them. It would be interactive with each person. And that's just one of the things that I envision for the new earth or 5D earth or whatever that progression is that we're going. Um, let's see, another thing is I, I, I envision waterfalls, except if they're not waterfalls, they're water ups. <laughs> So the water goes up and it's like, like all this is like rainbow colored and sparkly and stuff like that. It's, it's just glittery, and it, but it goes up instead of down. And another thing is um, if you're out on the beach and you like the air temperature, whatever, it's interactive as well, just like the water. So if you like the air temperature, say 75 and the water 83, you got it. It's yours. Um, what I would envision, though, is maybe about... 80 degree air temperature. I don't know what that is Celsius for our um, European uh, fans and friends, but I'd imagine like about 80 degrees Celsius with it still being able to snow. <laughs> so you'd have the coolness of the snowflakes on you. And uh, 
he'd still have the sunshine. It'd be snowing without clouds. He'd still have the sun and it'd be just perfect. So these are the kind of things that I encourage you guys to do um, when you're envisioning what 5D Earth will be like. Um, get creative, make it yours, own it. Add whatever I've said, add to it, make it yours. Um, maybe three suns. Uh, one of the suns is um, like purple. And maybe the cloud, the, the skies are, are, are purplish blue or blurple, <laughs> you know? Uh, own it. Uh, maybe there's three moons and they're different colors and maybe there's a nearby planet that's really huge and you know with binoculars you could actually see onto it um, that'd be kind of cool too use your imagination make it happen so this is what we're doing we're co-creating right now so you know like i said whatever i take and i'm putting out there make it yours too okay add to it so um that's basically all i have um Right now, if you guys have been shadow banned, uh, you know, let me know. I gosh, I'm seeing all these people joining the group, but I'm not seeing anybody commenting. <laughs> is there any? Is, has anyone commented? Yeah. Oh, it says 140 comments, 141, but I'm not seeing anyone actually saying anything. Just like no, nah, all these people have joined, and I'm so grateful. <laughs> Maybe I did something wrong. Gosh, I hope it's got to be working. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The chat works. I'm just chatting on my own. <laughs> so what I have planned, actually, this evening, I'm hoping it clears up a little here. In Florida, I'm going to be taking my, my night vision goggles out and uh, my little laser pen and uh, looking for UFOs tonight. So that's going to be fun. Went out last night and I saw an inordinate amount of satellites, which was weird. I did see three UFOs, but there was a ton of satellites out there. And we were either at the end or the beginning of some kind of meteor shower, because I saw about five meteors as well. But I, I did see three UFOs in about 45 minutes or so. But uh, like I said, an inordinate amount of satellites last night. So um, one thing I want to recommend, um, because of this shadow banning crap that's going on on Facebook, is that you go to N5D. And at the end of every, every article, or on the upper right-hand side, if you're on a laptop, um, you can subscribe to the emails, um, and either the weekly or the daily email list. And that way you're getting in 5D every day in one email, or once a week in one email. And you won't miss a thing. Um, highly recommend that. I've got thousands of people that are already on there. I probably reach more people via email <laughs> that have subscribed to N5D than the 400 plus thousand people that I have that follow N5D on Facebook because Facebook is once again screwing us. So, you know, even the people that have mentioned C first, it's not coming up as C first. It's like they may as well put C first and then LOL and JK after that, you know? <laughs> it's crazy. But um, so, yeah, make sure that you um, subscribe to the email and that way you're not going to miss anything that I put out there on N5D. So I guess that's that's going to about do it for this little brief update. It wasn't that long, only about 15 minutes. And um, like I said, um, make sure that you uh, at least put down in your comments where you're from, uh, what you're feeling, and uh, hopefully that way you'll create community amongst yourselves as well you know so if you have somebody say you're from Athens Greece and there's another person commenting here you guys can start up maybe a little group or something like that and it's pretty cool that you guys can at least start some kind of um, soul family community within your own areas so I'm gonna leave it off at that so I just want to wish everybody an amazing evening uh, sending you all much love and gratitude and infinite light namaste to all Love you all. Take care. Thanks again for joining me.